Hi everyone and welcome back to Waterhouse Ford. So today Oscar and I are going to start make a start on the engine block which is um, quite exciting because we haven't worked on the engine for ages haven't we? Yeah. It was uh, months and months and months ago when we took it apart. We spent a lot of time cleaning it, um, we spent, uh, we have spent a lot of time working on the uh, on the cylinder head recently as well as you would have seen in our most recent videos. Um, but the good news is today we're starting and the first job uh, Oscar is to install the sleeves, the, the cylinder yeah. sleeves, right? Mm. Now, it's, there's, um, we kind of have to do the job twice. We have to put the sleeves in, measure, and then we put the, take them out, we take, put the gaskets in, and we measure again. And the idea is, and I'll talk through it as we go, but basically the idea is we want the sleeve to stand proud of the head, of the yeah. cylinder block. It needs to be slightly above, okay? Yeah. And there's a specification for that. It's um, between two and eight thousandths of an inch. So, so very, very small. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, the point is, we're going to do it first without the gasket at the bottom, so that we don't damage the gasket. That'll tell us how, you know, basically how the sleeve is sitting in uh, in relation to the block first. Yeah. Then we're going to measure the the um, the gaskets. So we'll know how much the gasket's going to lift it up by, roughly. Yeah. Um, and we'll just be able to do some maths and work out whether it's going to be okay or not. Mm -hmm. And if it is okay, then we put it all together. We're going to put some sealant around those um, gaskets. And I'll tell, when we come to that section, I'll tell you why. Normally you wouldn't bother, but we're going to anyway. Um, yeah, and that'll be, that'll, that'll be hopefully getting the sleeves in. Okay? Yeah. Yep. You ready? Yes. Cool. Time lapse! <laughs> Put that down. Okay, now very quickly, just to show you the parts that we're going to be using. So, firstly, we've got four cylinder liners, okay, and then we've got these gaskets. They're called, it's actually called a spectacle gasket. Can you tell why? Because um, they are positioned like spectacles. Yeah, it's like a figure of eight gasket, which is quite interesting. Um, anyway, the part number, the Anglo uh, AgriPass part number for that is A59806A. And for the cylinder liner, it's A57380. And of course, there's four of those. Now, when, uh, when we ordered all the parts from Anglo, we ordered the entire engine rebuild kit. So obviously, that came with all the different bits that you need. Um, but if you wanted, if you just need to order the individual parts, then we're giving you the part number as well uh, for the individual bits. Okay, so, and again, once again, thank you uh, to Angla AgriPass for sponsoring our channel. And what that means is that they provide the parts that we need uh, for this restoration. Um, and then we, we obviously promote them on our channel. So, we would uh, obviously greatly appreciate if you, our viewers, would support them um, as they continue to support us. Uh, you can support them obviously by uh, going to their website um, or you can give them a call. And don't, don't forget that there is a special discount code which we will share with you later in the video that will entitle you to 10% off your spares uh, that you order from Anglo AgriPart. So, um, yeah, let's get on with it and we'll show you how we're going. Okay, now we're looking straight down the bore of the engine, right? And if you look there, Oscar. Yeah. If you're looking straight down, no, don't look at the camera, look down there. If you're looking. Okay. <laughs> if you're looking straight down, what do you see? I that see. That you recognize. Those. Mm -hmm. Which the gaskets will sit in there. Yes, yeah, so exactly the same profile as the gasket, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then the sleeves will sit in there. Yeah, but the the most important thing, and what I've just spent the last what two hours doing, mm. is cleaning these surfaces, <laughs> right? Yeah. Because it's inside this section of the engine, all at the top here, we have water, the cooling water, right? And that's designed, obviously, to keep the cylinders cool because, obviously, they get very, very hot because of the explosions that are going on inside yeah. the ignition, right? So this is what we call a wet jacket design. So these sleeves, when they're installed in here, 
they are surrounded by the coolant. Yeah. And immediately underneath there, right down the bottom, is where and you've got where the crankshaft crank and all the main bearings and yeah. blah 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 and the sump and basically the oil. So those little gaskets have to seal and sip, keep the water and the oil separate. Yeah. So they've got a very, very important job to do. And the problem is, if this surface, if you have even just one speck of rust or dirt or dust or whatever on there, and that compromises that, that gasket, then you'll immediately get water in your oil and the whole engine is rebuilt yeah. is useless. So the most important job when rebuilding an engine, especially an engine of this design, is to make sure that you get those surfaces 100% clean. Yeah. Right? Now, what I, I mentioned in the a little bit earlier is that if I look at these surfaces, they might look clean, but there's quite a bit of pitting on them. Um, and in fact, if you look just here, mm -hmm. all along here, you'll see there's like a ridge oh, on yeah. the back there, right? And I can't get that out. It's basically in the actual surface. Yeah. So even using emery cloth, um, your sandpaper, I've, I've you know, cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and I can't get them out. And the point is that at some point, although there was no evidence of water in the oil when we stripped this engine, I think that at some point water has managed to penetrate onto here and it has actually cor corroded these surfaces. So unfortunately, we're going to have to use something like that Loctite 5 on yeah. 5 that we used on the... Um, the plug. On the plug, yeah. So we're going to use that on both sides of these gaskets just to give them a little bit extra chance of sealing and making sure that we get a good seal yeah. on, on there. Okay, so, but anyway, before we do that, what we're going to do, we're going to pop two sleeves in, we're going to bolt them down so that they're under, under a little bit of tension, and then we're going to measure how they feel in relation to this top surface. Okay? Yeah. Right, let's get on with that then. Uh, it's actually etched. What? It's etching, it's not painting. Oh yeah. So, yeah, so as Oscar said, it looks like a really nice um, product. It does have the um, logo uh, etched onto it, which is quite a nice touch. But the important thing here, let's look here, Oscar, you see you've got a chamfer. Yeah. So that's going to help it go in. And then you see it's got a little step there. Yeah. Right? And then it runs up and it's got another step there. Another two. One, yeah, well that's, no, that's just an engineering line. Oh, okay. okay. So basically between that line and that line, that's the sealing surface. So that's the bit that seals, it's not sealed, sorry. That sits inside this sleeve on the inside, right? And the gasket sits up against here and runs inside that, sits inside that group, right? The sleeve inside the sleeve. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Wow. 
Now, if you've cleaned up everything up nicely, they will literally just slip in, just like that. Okay. There should be no need to force them. Exactly how are you going to measure it? Well, we're not going to measure it because it's below. Yeah. So it can't. Well, so that tells us what we need to know. Okay, so what we are currently, the sleeves are sitting below the surface of the head. You can feel it. Okay? Just. Just. Now, the way to measure it is to use, well, there's two methods we're going to use, and we'll see which one gives us the most accurate reading. The first one is to use the. Sorry, no, that's not going to work. Is yeah, it? I'm. I'm just having a look at something. Though. The first option is to use the vernier caliper, and you rest the pipi on the on the liner, and you bring that down until it touches the face. And according to this, we're far. The five thousandths below, which is more than I wanted, I have to tell you, we may have to, we may have a problem with these gaskets not being tall enough. That one's eleven. What? Um. So these are quite far down, which is a bit of a worry, but let's see. We'll have to measure those gaskets in a second. That's far. I think we should be okay. And that's 12. This isn't a very accurate way of measuring it. No, that's not accurate at all. Um, well, because I might be holding a slightly skew and that would be enough to throw it off even a few thousandths, okay? so. This what? eight thou, this eight thou, mm -hmm. feel that. Yeah, it feels almost perfect. It said it? it was twelve thou there. Yeah. Anyway, so what we're going to do now, we're going to open the gaskets and measure those. So in the pack, you get two gaskets, and the idea obviously is you put one on each, one here, one there. Um, but what you can do if you have a problem, which we may have, is you can actually double up on these. So you can actually put more than one gasket in if you need to, which we may have to, but let's see. So that is measuring 10, 11, 11, and across the middle, 11. Nine and a half, ten and a half, and eleven. So we're going to be very, very, very close. Okay, so what we're going to do now, um, in order to measure this, we're not actually going to put the sealant on. What we're going to do is we're going to pop these out, we're going to put the gasket in, we're going to put the sleeves back, yeah. and then we're going to see what we're measuring. Once we manage to get these above the surface, Oscar, what we'll then do is we'll put a straight edge across the sleeve and we'll measure with a feeler gauge underneath that uh, straight edge, like when we were measuring the trueness of the 
Yeah. Of the, the, the head actually. So right, so let's get these out again. And they should slide straight out like I've, that. I've been doing some quick calculations. Mm -hmm. And the average thickness of that is around 12 thou. So we will have roughly 4 thou left. So your average is not right because no, it was just an average though. Well how do you work out an average? What do well, you do? I was just doing a rough little thing. Okay, but, but how do you work out an average? You, you I can't remember now. Can't you remember add all the numbers now. together oh, yeah. and you divide by the number of numbers that they were. Oh yeah. So in this case we had four readings and there were eleven, five. 5 and 11. So, 22, uh, then we had 2 5s. Yep. 2 5s and 2 11s. Yep. Okay. 32. 32 divided by 4. Divided by 4. Well, So that may just be okay, right? We can, we've got between 2 and 8 what we can go to. Right. So we'll have around 0 now left. Mm. Which may not be enough. Anyway, right, I'll pop that in. Let's um, put these back, the sleeves back in. Give me some more oil, please. Now, these sleeves may be a little bit tighter to go in this time because of the gasket, right? Because in theory, the gasket should run up against this ceiling surface. Okay, that's enough. So we'll have to just see, hopefully. I mean, they shouldn't be too tight, but we may have to push these in a bit. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it's gone in fine. Oh, we're very, very close. Okay. All right, so I can feel now, Oscar, feel here. You feel we're very, very close, right? Mm. But I do believe it's just above. Yeah. So now to bolt them down, what we've got are these. Um, well, these are uh, seven sixteenth bolts, UN UNC, and obviously a, a couple of washers. And what we're going to do? So that's the same size that goes to the head bolts. The head studs go into right. So we're just going to put these on, and we're going to tighten them up just to um, make sure that all of the the sleeves are being pushed down as tight as well, just nice and tight, basically. Right, so now, if you try and measure under there, it's 
so this is just on the block yeah yeah so we couldn't do a, a two thousand we're not going to get two thousand we'll change to two thousand so okay. two thousand minimum right yeah anything I better than a two is better so remember we squeeze these down now. yeah so the minimum is two I want to just, I want to not have it on there, so hopefully we're just measuring the sleeve. Wait, I'm not completely on the top. Yeah. So that's the problem, that one's a bit low. Okay, try this one. Now we can see this marking here, it looks like it's been leaking here before, you see? Yeah. Okay, come this side. Go there. No? No. Oh, just. Just. Kind of. And now there. No. Okay, it's quite a just. bit lower, isn't it? Okay, so that's a bit of a problem. The other problem we've got is that if we, even if we put another gasket on here, it would that would day eleven, so that's going to take it up over the eight maximum that we can have. So we may need to sand them down. No, you can't do that. You never get them true. Oh yeah. So Stop. we need to make a decision here. Unfortunately, we don't have a one thou feeler gauge, um, so I can't even tell whether it's how far below two it is. I mean, to me, when I run my finger over here, there is they are above. Just. But as we can see, maybe not enough. Just. Why do they need to be up? Right, good question. So when the head gasket comes on here, what you want is you want the head gasket to seal all the way around on the on the top of the on the top of the sleeve because inside here this is your combustion chamber, yeah. right? And you don't want any combustion to leak anyway. So imagine if the gasket sealed on here instead, well then your combustion would leak through there and all the way around. So what you have to be sure of is that your gasket is going to seal on the sleeve and not on the, well, I mean, yeah. it needs to also seal on the block, but yeah. it wants to be on the sleeve first, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Right, so I need to work out what we're going to do now. I'm not entirely sure. One option would be to send the block away and have it skimmed. Basically, if they take one or two thou off the top of the block, then that would give us the two, maybe three thou that we need over here. Yeah. I don't think you can get thinner gaskets, unfortunately, so that's not going to work. Uh, would you rather have it too high or too low? Which would be better? If you had to make a choice. Um... But it can't be too high, it, it, I suppose. Well, no, because if it was too high, then because the, the head gasket has to seal around all these other areas as well, right? So if that was too high, let's say that was sitting at 11th hour, 
then you can pretty be pretty certain that these surfaces won't seal, especially yeah. here, right, right here, where it's been lifted up. It'll be like that, kind yeah. of yeah. exaggerated. Exaggerated, yeah. Um, just do me a favor. Just measure here. Hang on, let's just do it on this one sleeve. No. Also not. Should we try? No, it isn't gonna really. Just. What? It just goes under. Well, it did. No. <laughs> no it shouldn't. Hmm. Okay, well look, that's probably as far as we can go now because I need to go and do some research to find out what we need to do now. I believe we may have to have the top of this block skimmed um, just to take off maybe one or two thou um, just to give us a bit more a bit more meat there, basically. Because uh, these aren't even torqued, right? I haven't even torqued these right down. So actually, in theory, these could go down even more because that washer or that gasket at the bottom will compress, right? Mm. Wait, is it made of metal or...? It's aluminium. Okay. Well... So, yeah, um, sadly, we, we're not going to be able to continue. Mm. Right, everyone. Well, listen, thanks for joining us. Sadly, we're not able to complete that job. Um, I'm going to need to just check um, speak to a couple of people and work out what, what's the best thing to do. I suspect what we'll have to do is send the block in and let them just skim uh, one or two thou off the top of that um, off the top of that face. I think what's happened, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there's de there's some definite sign of corrosion on those uh, faces at the bottom with the sealing face, and I think at some point somebody maybe tried to clean those up uh, with a like a surface ground, not a a um, a little grinder or something like that, and essentially they've probably taken off too much, um, and that's causing the, the sleeve to sit too far down in, in the block. Um, now, to be fair, the, there was no evidence that the head gasket was leaking uh, when, we, when we stripped the engine, and, and it might actually be fine if we just continue as it is. Um, there is, you can feel that there is a slight difference, you know, there is a bit of height on the top of the sleeve, um, but it's not in spec, um, and obviously we want to do this job properly, uh, and we want this engine to be in, um, yeah, in, in good condition. I know it's not, a, it's not a racing car or anything like that, but nevertheless, I don't want to have to do this job again uh, anytime soon, so, you're right. Yeah, you okay. said it's not a racing car, so no. I was Right, okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, right, so anyway, that's it for this video. We're going to, um, as I said, I'm going to ask around, speak to a couple of people, work out what we're going to do. Um, so probably for the next video, we won't have the, head, the, the, the block back in time. Um, so probably we'll, we'll carry on with, with some of the other jobs that need doing. For example, um, I want to service the oil pump still. Um, and there's a couple of other little bits that we that we can probably carry on with. Uh, maybe we'll go back to the cylinder head. Maybe we'll um, you know put all the little covers on, get the Welsh plugs in, all that kind of thing. Anyway, listen. Thanks for joining us, and uh, hope that that was helpful. Uh, you can see the process that we've used at least, um, and what you need to do. Um, but yeah, we 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 can't continue sadly. All right. So. Half a Minecraft, I guess. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Have a good week, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Cheers for now. Bye. Goodbye. Is it done yet? Goodbye. <laughs>